I'm going to solve four equations. Um, this assumes some familiarity with solving algebraic equations. Uh, if you're not already familiar with that, you might want to check out the video Intro to Solving Algebraic Equations. This is uh, in Blackboard under Unit 1 Worksheet in YouTube. And I'll be using these rules. Basically, they aren't hard and fast rules, but they're uh, policies that you can follow. And you want to be familiar with these as I go through uh, solving these four problems. On our first one, uh, you're trying to get x by itself. You cannot do so because this guy is trapped in parentheses. Use distributive property. Send in the 3. This gives you 12x plus 15. And then on the other side, we still have 10x plus 29. Uh, from there, you could get rid of 29 get rid of 10x, get rid of 15, or get rid of 12x. Any one of those is a legitimate first move. I'm going to get rid of 10x. It's held by addition or subtraction, so I'll achieve the opposite operation by pairing it up with the same thing with the opposite sign. I draw a line under everything and bring down what's left. This gives us 2x still have plus 15. That's a 0. You don't have to write it. Here we've got 29. Now you want to get rid of this 15. It's held by addition or subtraction. You achieve the opposite operation by pairing it up the same thing with the opposite sign. I just put a line underneath everything. Bring down what's left. And then one more step to get x by itself. You want to get rid of the 2. It's held by multiplication. The opposite operation is division. So you divide by 2, divide by 2. 2 goes into 2 once, so you have 1x. And that's 7. You could check this answer by plugging it in. You will get a true statement. The next one we'll try. Is right here. Again, you'll have to get rid of your parentheses, send in the 5. That's going to give you, this is actually a negative 5, okay? So you're sending in negative 5 to each term. Negative 5 times 3 is negative 15. Negative 5 times negative 6 is positive 30. And we'll bring down whatever we haven't touched. This 2x uh, we have our negative 7 and 9x as well. Um, at this point usually what we like to do uh, is clean it up. We have two like terms on this side of the equal sign, so I'm just going to put them together. I don't have to get rid of either of these, I'm going to combine them. So positive 2x, negative 15x, they combine to give us negative 13x, and I'll bring down everything else that I have not touched. All right, now you could get rid of any one of these four terms. I'm going to get rid of the negative 13x. Just draw a line and bring everything down. So what are we at now? 22x. And we have... 
That's a zero. I don't have to write it. Get rid of that negative seven. It's held by addition or subtraction. So the opposite operation is achieved by pairing it up the same number with the opposite sign. Just draw a line here and bring everything down. <clears throat> That's a zero. You don't have to write it. We've got 37 over here. Last step, you want to get rid of your 22. It's held there by multiplication. The opposite operation is division. So we will divide by 22, divide by 22. 22 goes to 22 one time, so x equals, and this cannot be reduced, 37 20 seconds is your answer. No need to write that in a mixed, as a mixed number. Um, for the next one here, We have to get rid of our parentheses first. We've got to send in this negative. And if it helps you to think of that as a negative one, that's perfectly legitimate. Either way, I'm sending in the negative to each term inside the parentheses. That's going to give us negative 4x minus 5. We'll bring down whatever we haven't touched. I used that negative already. I sent it in. All I have to do is bring down the 7. We're going to clean up uh, this side. We can clean up a little bit. A 7 and a negative 5 when we put them together. Again, I'm not getting rid of one of these. I'm combining them. So that uh, they combine to give us 7, negative 5 gives us a 2. Um, I guess I'll write it over here. And then we'll bring down whatever we haven't touched. I just used up these, that and that, but this negative 4x has to come down. And we could get rid of any one of those four terms. I'm going to choose to get rid of the negative 5x. That way I'll end up with a positive x. So to get rid of a negative 5x, it's held by addition or subtraction. The opposite operation is achieved by pairing this up with the same thing with the opposite sign. So I'll put a positive 5x here. And then the same thing on the other side. That's plus x. You could put a 1 there if you like. Well, I almost did, so I will. Um, that's a 0. You don't have to write it. And this is a 14. Get rid of that 2. That's a 0. You don't have to write it. I'm just going to put x. And there's a 12. So that's your answer for this one. And we're going to do one more. Parentheses on each side. Uh, we'll have to get rid of each set of parentheses. So send in your 4. This gives you 4x plus 20. Bring down what we haven't used. That negative 3. On this side you have to send in the negative 6 to each term. So this gives us negative 12x plus 24. Bring down whatever you haven't touched, which is the 12. Okay, now you can do a little cleaning up on each side. On the left, we can clean up uh, the positive 20, negative 3. They combine to give us a positive 17. So I use that and that. 
And then on the right hand side, I can combine the 12 and the 24. They combine to give us 36. They're both positive. We've used them up. Bring down whatever we haven't touched. And again, you can get rid of any one of those four terms. I'm going to choose to <clears throat> get rid of this negative 12x because I don't want a negative x. So I'll say plus 12x. Just draw a line, see what we've got. Uh, here's 16x. Bring down your plus 17. 36. Uh, you need to get rid of that 17. It's held by addition or subtraction. We use the opposite sign. Just draw a line, bring everything down. And one more step. You have to get rid of your 16. It's held by multiplication. The opposite operation is division. Divide by 16. Divide by 16. 16 goes into 16 once, and you get x equals 19 sixteenths. Again, you don't have to write that as a mixed number.